What's poppin' Funko fans? I'm Robbie Dilts, and you're watching Funko Pop Monthly. In today's video, I will be listing off my top 10 Funko Pops for the month of January. And before I do that, I want to clarify something. That from now on, I will be listing my top 10 specific Funko Pops and not announcements like I've been doing in the past. With that being said, let's get poppin'. Alright, now before I kick off my top 10 list, there is a theme to this top 10 list. Funko made it very tricky this month to make a top 10 list, especially with all the London Toy Fair reveals, and there it is. The theme for this video, London Toy Fair reveals, pretty much. So kicking off the list at number 10, announced January 20th as a part of the London Toy Fair reveals, it is Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Now, I haven't really listened to many Slipknot songs. I know they produced the WWE NXT theme song, and that's pretty much it. I went off of the detail on this concept art because, obviously, I haven't seen any pictures of the actual pop, so I don't really know how it looks right now. But based off of the concept art, I think it looks pretty cool, and Corey Taylor made it in. The other two members of Slipknot did not make it into my top 10 list this month. Coming in at number 9, also announced January 20th as a part of the London Toy Fair reveals, it is Lil Wayne. Now I grew up listening to Lil Wayne, and I think Funko nailed the design perfectly with this pop. Maybe they could have added a little bit more detail, but... Honestly, I think this is a great pop overall, and I would definitely cop up the money for it. Coming in at number 8, it was announced January 1st, and the wave of Birds of Prey pops that were announced, it is Harley Quinn with Roller Derby outfit. Now, honestly, I wish that I had picked this pop up when I saw it at my local EB Games. However, I didn't, and I'm kicking myself for it. However, I do have a Harley Quinn with caution tape outfit. And, I mean, it's just not the same, though. Look at the detail with the roller derby outfit. It is amazing. Again, made it past Lil Wayne. Like I said, this could have been probably number 9 on my list, and Lil Wayne could have been where Harley Quinn is at number 8. But, honestly... Funko made it very tricky this month, like I've mentioned already in this video, to make a top 10 list. Harley Quinn with Roller Derby, amazing outfit, amazing detail. That is why it is number 8 in my list. Coming in at number 7 on my list, it was announced January 14th as a Hot Topic exclusive. It is the Flock Penguin with Cocktail from Billy Madison. Now... Originally, I had listed this as my number 6, but I made a last minute decision to change it due to the fact that the pop that I'm listing off at number 6 is probably one that I'm more of a fan of. Um, I do like the movie Billy Madison, and of course I'm going to be copping up for this pop of the Flock Penguin. But, honestly... This was definitely a tricky last minute decision, but then I realized that the fact that the next pop that I'm listing off is also going to be a flocked pop, and the fact that the series that it comes from is something that I've been a huge fan of my entire life, that is why I decided to switch the flocked penguin from number 6 to my number 7. With that being said, let's move on to number 6. Coming in at number 6 in my list, it was announced January 2nd as an EB Games slash GameStop exclusive from the Pokemon Collector's Box. It is Flocked Pikachu. Pikachu is my all-time favorite Pokemon, 
And then, honestly, the Squirtle will probably be a cool Flock Pop as well, but I chose Pikachu because of it is my number one favorite Pokemon in the series. And of course, it had to make it above the Flock Penguin with Cocktail from Billy Madison because, like I said, I am a huge fan of the series. It's been part of me my entire life, pretty much through my childhood. Pikachu... I think will be an amazing flock pop and if I can I will definitely cop up for this pop as well it is now time for the top five top five top five top five top five Funko Pops for the month of January at number five it was announced January 20th as a part of the London Toy Fair reveals and it is the Funko Shop exclusive Harry Potter wearing invisibility cloak now, I am a huge fan of Harry Potter, the movie, and also some of the Harry Potter pops. This is why I listed Harry with the Invisibility Cloak as number five. The detail in this pop is amazing. I love the scene in the movie when he first gets the Invisibility Cloak as a Christmas gift, I believe. Um, or it could have been a birthday gift, but I'm pretty sure it was Christmas. Regardless... I think this pop looks amazing. It kind of sucks that it's a Funko Shop exclusive because, well, obviously, living in Canada, we are ineligible to get the Funko Shop pops unless we have someone living in the States or we have a P.O. box set up in the States and then we can travel. I don't have my passport. I don't have a license or car, so it's tricky for me to even get any pops that are basically across the border from me. So, with that being said... Harry Potter wearing a visibility cloak made it in my top five for the month. Moving on to number four, it was announced January 22nd, it's Guy Fieri. My favorite guy show is Guy's Grocery Games. Honestly, I love watching that show. Uh, the detail in this pop looks amazing. I will definitely be copping up the money for this pop if I can, and hopefully I add it to my collection. It made it into my top five based off of detail alone. Guy is holding a hamburger. Uh, Guy obviously has shows like Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And like I said, my favorite being Guy's Grocery Games amongst other shows that he hosts. There's no reason why Guy Fieri shouldn't be in anyone's top ten list for the month of January. Coming in at number three... Announced as a part of the London Toy Fair reveals on January 20th, a part of the Harry Potter wave, it is Dumbledore with Baby Harry. Honestly, this is basically the very first scene you see in Philosopher's Stone. And honestly, Funko hit it out of the park with this pop. Amazing. There's nothing more I can say. I will probably definitely try to cop up the money for this pop as well. Coming in at number two, it was announced January 20th as a part of the London Toy Fair reveals, and it is the 10-inch Dumbledore with Fox the Phoenix. Now, again, the detail in this pop is amazing. I would rate it definitely a 10 out of 10. However, there was one pop that is higher on the list at number one which was very more detailed in my opinion than Dumbledore with Fox. I do have the Flock Fox the Phoenix pop in my collection and I don't have any 10 inch Funko Pops in my collection right now however if given the chance I will probably be adding this 10 inch pop to my collection. And rounding off the list at number one, it was announced January 20th as a part of the London Toy Fair reveals as a part of the Harry Potter wave. It is the other 10 inch pop that was announced and it is Lord Voldemort with Nagini. The detail on this pop, phenomenal, I must say. Funko nailed it for sure. And this is definitely a pop that I would cop up for in a heartbeat. Now before I end this video, I just want to give a few honorable mentions to Pops that didn't make it into the list but are also very detailed and ones that I liked. 
one being Willie Nelson, another being Shania Twain, and finally, the Flock Squirtle from that EB Games slash GameStop exclusive collector's box. So, there you have it. Well, that's all the time I had for this video. If you like this video, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Also, leave me a comment, let me know what your top 10 list is for the month of January. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to the side to be notified of when I post future content like this video to my channel. Stay tuned for next month's top 10 list. And also, if you haven't yet, go back and watch my top 5 Funko Pops for the month of December. Until next time guys, keep on popping.